Hello, I'm Enkyu Sang Shim to present today's presentation topic, a strategy of surface coating for improving electrochemical performances of nickel-rich cathode materials for lithium ion batteries. So I will proceed with the presentation. The presentation order will be in the order of introduction, background, experimental, result and discussion, and summary as follows. First, I will start with a brief introduction to the lithium-ion battery. Currently, the most commercially available battery is a lithium-ion battery, and the basic theory of a lithium-ion battery is to store and use electric energy using oxidation and reduction reactions through intercalation and deintercalation within the electrode structure of lithium ions. In the case of the principle of storing electric energy during charge, lithium ions and electrons move from the cathode to the anode to store electric energy, and during discharge, the stored electric energy is used as lithium ions and electrons move from the anode to the cathode. The four main components of such a lithium ion battery include cathode, that the source of lithium ion, anode, that the receiver of lithium ion, electrolyte, that serves as a carrier for lithium ions, and a separator that prevents direct contact between the cathode and the anode. Of these, the cathode is an important factor that determines the performance of the lithium ion battery, especially energy density and power density. Materials used as cathode materials for lithium ion batteries include NCM and NCA as a layered structure, LMO as a spinet structure, and LFP as an olivine structure. Among them, NCA can have high energy density and power density while being inexpensive. Because of this reason, it is in the spotlight. However, the low structure stability and thermal stability of NCA is a major disadvantage of NCA, and due to this, the cyclic performance is also low, making it unsuitable for use for a long time. Therefore, in order to overcome this disadvantage, a method of forming a coating layer on the surface was selected. When a coating layer is formed on the surface of active material, it can act as a physical protection barrier from external elements, and ionic conductivity and electronic conductivity can be improved depending on the material constituting the coating layer. In addition, it acts as a membrane that protects hydrogen fluoride generated through the reaction between LIPF6 a lithium salt in the electrolyte and residual moisture, preventing structure collapse of the active material that can be induced by hydrogen fluoride. Through this, cyclic stability and thermal stability and the rate capability can be improved. Nitrogen doped carbon was selected as the material for the coating layer. Nitrogen doped carbon is a form in which nitrogen atoms are doped in the carbon layer and it is divided into graphitic, pyridinic, and pyrrolic structures according to the nitrogen doped form. These nitrogen doped carbon can improve the electronic conductivity and more active sites are formed due to the porous structure due to the structure change of the carbon framework of the nitrogen atom and as the surface area increases, more lithium ions can intercalate and deintercalate in the active material, so it can lead to improved electrochemical performance. Therefore, nitrogen doped carbon was selected as the coating material for NCA. So, forming nitrogen doped carbon coating layer, solid state method was used. First, NCA is ground so that it can be evenly mixed with the biomaterial, which is a coating source of nitrogen doped carbon, 
and then calcination is performed at 500 degrees to obtain nitrogen doped carbon coating layer from the NCA. From now on, the NCA on which the nitrogen doped carbon coating layer is formed will be called as a NC.NCA. In order to compare the structural properties of bare NCA and NC.NCA, the XRD analysis was firstly measured. As a result of confirming the XID pattern between bare NCA and NC.NCA, it was confirmed that the nitrogen doped carbon coating layer did not affect the structural change of the NCA as the XID peak was the same except for a very small peak difference. And for checking valence states of the elements of NC.NCA, XPS analysis is performed. Through the XPS data of NC.NCA, the peak of nickel, cobalt, aluminum, and oxide of the existing NCA were confirmed. And in addition, it was confirmed that the carbon and nitrogen peak, so through this result, it can be said that nitrogen doped carbon coating layer was formed on the NCA surface. And despite the formation of the coating layer, the nickel, cobalt, aluminum, and oxide peaks do not change. So the nitrogen doped carbon coating layer does not significantly affect the composition of NCA. In addition, the two peaks appearing in the nitrogen peak are pyridinic nitrogen and graphitic nitrogen nitrogen respectively from the left and between them pyridinic nitrogen has an advantage in improving the element electrochemical performance of the active material so therefore it can be said that the electrochemical performance of nc.nca in which pyridinic nitrogen is formed has improved Next, it was measured through HRFSM to confirm the morphological change of the samples. As a result, in the case of bare NCA, the surface was rough and fine particles were not found. But in the case of NC.NCA, the surface was smooth and fine particles were found on the surface. Through this, it was confirmed that a change appeared on the NCA surface by forming a coating layer. In addition, as a result of confirming the elemental composition of NC.NCA through its mapping, it can be confirmed that the nitrogen doped carbon coating layer was formed on the NCA through the fact that carbon and nitrogen appeared in addition to nickel, cobalt, aluminum, and oxide of NCA. Next, in order to confirm the difference in electrochemical performance between bare NCA and NC.NCA, the active material is mixed with 10 weight percent of PVDF as a binder and 10 weight percent of Denka Black as a conductive agent, and after mixing them, NMP is added to form a slurry. After that, laminating is performed on the current collector and tried to obtain an electrode. The obtained electrode was assembled in the form of a 2032 tie coin set together with an electrolyte and a separator. And after aging for about one day, the electrochemical performance was evaluated. Through the potential profile graph between the two samples, it was confirmed that there was no significant difference in the charge and discharge behavior between the two samples. So it can be said that the coating layer does not affect the charge and discharge behavior of NCA. And as a result of confirming the specific discharge capacity retention for 30 cycles at a 0.2C rate, it can be seen that bare NCA is higher than NC.NCA in terms of initial capacity, but after 30 cycles, NC.NCA showed a capacity retention of 95.48% and bare NCA showed a capacity retention of 
0.59%. Even in the case of 1C rate, which is a high rate of charge and discharge, Bayer NCA has a higher initial specific discharge capacity than NC.NCA, but after 100 cycles, the retention or the retention is 67.49% in the case of Bayer NCA and 82.61% in the case of NC.NCA. So nitrogen of carbon coated NCA is slightly inferior in terms of initial capacity because the formation of the coating layer can act as an impediment factor in intercalation and decalation of lithium ions, but in terms of the cyclic performance, it can be seen that it is improved because the coating layer acts as a barrier and improves the structural stability of NCA. So, to summarize what has been so far, first, NCA is the common cathode material because of the high energy density and power density, but low structural stability and poor cyclic performance is the weakness. So, surface coating on cathode material is a good way to increase efficiency because coating layer can provide good cyclic performance and structural stability, and nitrogen doped carbon coating layer can enhance ionic and electronic conductivity. And the structural properties and composition were confirmed through XRD and XPS analysis. And it was checked that nitrogen doped carbon coating layer not affect the structure and composition of NCA. And the morphological evaluation was confirmed through HRFSM. And the elemental Composition of NC.NCA was confirmed through EDS mapping. Through these results, it was confirmed that nitrogen doped carbon coating layer was formed on the NCA and in an electrochemical performance, bare NCA showed higher initial specific discharge capacity compared to NC.NCA. However, the retention of NC.NCA is higher than bare NCA after 30 cycles at point to c rate and after 100 cycles at 1C rate, NC.NCA showed better cycling performance than bare NCA. So, with this research, we conclude that the coating of nitrogen doped carbon on NCA can improve the cyclic stability of NCA. And this is my presentation last page. Thank you for your attention to my presentation.